We got a new mayor in at the stables, and I thought you might like to join me for a ride. I'd like that very much. Fine. Will you be joining us? No, she doesn't ride. Her constitution. It's a little too dark. He's a bit of a bully, your father. No, it's not personal. He just, he's like that. Captain, you're gonna ride, you're gonna stand around yapping. He doesn't let you ride. How does he feel about you going to the movies? A man named Kenneth Arnold, private pilot out of Boise, flying over the Cascades, says he saw nine saucer-shaped disks in the sky. This is all over the Seattle papers. Wire services picked it up, and they're running with it. And they're running with it, sir. You don't want to forget about the sir. Some officers around here that can really get their shorts in a bunch over that, Howard. Just something to keep in mind. What do you make of all this? Russians. Some sort of reconnaissance coming over the Bering Straits. It has to be. You don't think we're being invaded by Martians, then? No, sir. I don't. I do. Hey there, soldier. You looking for some fun? Not now, Sue. I'm on duty. You look ready for action, but you don't look like you're on duty. I'm meeting the colonel to go over something. Here you are. Call you later. I won't be there. Welcome back to KGFL Studios in Roswell, New Mexico. It's a breezy July 2nd, 1947, and here is Dinah Washington with Stairway to the Star.
believe that what we saw was God's angels dancing. That, or some new airplane from White Sands, gone out of control. You mentioned that you saw a crash. Clear as day. If that was God's angels, then right now, they're camped out about a mile and a half above Pine Lodge. Yes? Excuse me for interrupting, sir. There's a rancher just came into the sheriff's office with something I think you ought to take a look at. Sue. I'm right in the middle of something. I really need to see you. And I need to see you. What if I give you a call tonight, if I can get away? I want every bit of debris on this pasture and back at the base. All of your men are confined to the base pending a debriefing. And that means the two of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any witnesses? Yes, sir. Name's Brazel. Sir? We'd appreciate your not speaking to anyone about this. It's a matter of national security. Yeah, it's from outer space, isn't it? What crashed in that field was a constant level balloon train. This is the material out of which the radar reflectors on the train are made. If the Russians have figured out how to build a bomb, we want to know about it, and this little spy balloon will tell us. This is a project called Mogul. And has a security classification of A1. Reporters are all over this. We're gonna have to give them something. Somebody already has. With us this morning in the KGFL studios is a local rancher who has a startling story to tell. You found something on your ranch? Some kind of debris? This wasn't just any debris, sir. This was some metal like nothing I'd ever seen before. This was something from another world. We've got to shut this guy up, sir. We thought we'd let it go. Divert attention from Mogul. When you've seen the reports on all these sightings, people are eating this up with a spoon. I wouldn't recommend that, sir. Why is that, Captain? If we give our seal of approval to this, people are going to believe it. You get a country that thinks that we're not in control of the skies, you're inviting a major panic. Oh, really? So which do you like better for the press release? Flying discs, flying saucers. 